here it is it's a brake mechanism electronic dynamic braking off of a rowing machine used to provide resistance when you dial up a bit of a uh, an increase in resistance in your re regime um, this is how it's done electronically so basically if you short the pins out here this becomes very difficult to turn and so that's how they do it so instead of uh, dumping and wasting the energy I thought maybe we could generate some electricity with it this is about I don't know a meter and a half two meters of lead lighting very small current drain stuff um, this is a, I think it's an AC output I'm not sure how many phases this does have three pins on it so it could be three and I found that well, let's see we don't really need that right now I'll put it in try and do all of this one handed yeah, where are we? Oh, ha, 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 ha. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. What a champion. I see into our bridge. Of course it doesn't reach, of course. Oh. Alright, very crude, but consider it soldered. Looks like we've got 5.1 volts in our caps at the moment anyway. And just to prove it. There we go, let's get rid of that. Do a bit of spot welding here. There's uh, 2450, so that's 900 plus 490. What's that? 12, 1300 uh, microfarads, 1.3 mic, uh, 1.3 farads. This is considerably more difficult to, well, compared to before, to turn, but as you can see, not really. We're up to 1.7 volts. Well, I just keep plotting away, doing this. Not really going hammer and tong, just doing the same thing. It'll steadily charge that massive bank of capacitance. But I'm gonna cheat. It's not going much faster than how I was doing it by hand. It sounds like it is, but it's not. There we go. We're up at eight, nine volts. It's getting much brighter now. Ten point three. See what it maxes out to at this speed. So look, it's not moving fast. It sounds like it is because this is a geared drill. So it's not moving. The capacitors are providing the power now. And slowly decharging or de decreasing. And one quick turn of that brings it back up again. The point being that whether he up high or down low that's all you need to do to keep it bright I did this consistently we can get it up back over 10 volts again and these little LEDs are quite happy at that but yeah it's mainly the capacitors that are taking most of the charge because they store it 
for those of you in YouTube land. Capacitors will store charge as inductors will. And we have this stationary and we're just watching it count down. We'll see when they turn off. I think the threshold's about 8 volts. Gotta love autofocus cameras. Yeah. They're still bright enough to see if you're in a small room or a caravan or something. Let's just see. This one spin goes from 8 to over 8.5. Another spin takes us close to 9. A half a volt gain every time. I hand spin it. So you can imagine that up on the roof with a prop. Just spinning slowly like this, consistently. Trickle charging a uh, bank of uh, lead acid batteries. It would, uh, I think it would do quite nicely. Yeah. Let's have a look with the lights off. Use the drill again. It's at nine and a half volts now. Let's leave it sit. That's uh, it's not a bad bit of light, I suppose, if you had it inside at a desk perhaps I suppose you could put pedals on that thing and do an Alfred Traeger anyway just thought it would be an interesting thing to look out for for those of you who like going to scrap yards so if you can get hold of one of these the uh, the whole thing is that's thick cast iron there's no voids in there that's just completely what one inch thick and down the side here as well and uh, for those th steam engine enthusiasts, this would make a nice, a nice uh, accompaniment to one. There you go.